Good day. Uh, these are songs inspired by the film Beetlejuice from 1998, directed by Tim Burton. Um, music by Stoddard Blackall, lyrics by Robert Berliner. It's early morning in the attic of the quaint New England home shared by Adam and Barbara Maitland. Adam is lovingly at work on his made-to-scale miniature model of the town, and Barbara enters to surprise him with a gift. It's the start of two whole weeks off. Time to celebrate. Happy vacation, honey. Manchurian tongue oil? Where did you get this? <laughs> oh, Helen got it for me in Oslo. God. Manchurian tongue oil. There's enough to refinish the table and the bureau. <laughs> I wonder what this could be. Oh, you got it. Thank you. Yeah, there's enough there to do the entire guest room. Oh, Adam, I'm so glad we're spending our vacation at home. Me too. God, how I have looked forward to this. Oh. We can finally get away from all the noise oh. and spend time on what really matters. <laughs> For two weeks, this cozy spot will be the perfect place to hide. It's vacation. Recreation would be nice. Yes, it would. <laughs> I can focus on my model and my supermodel bride. <laughs> So unpack your bags, smell the pine saw air, and prepare for paradise. Paradise, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Half a month at home, just the best of life, with my angelic wife, might as well be heaven. What a lovely Right here in our favorite place with my favorite face might as well be heaven being here with you all the time because when you're here at home with me it's paradise it's fantasy it's heaven and your heart so warm and your mind so bright you're like celestial light might as well be heaven is short-lived, however. 
A mundane trip into town turns tragic when the Maitland station wagon veers off a bridge and plunges into the ravine. They do not survive. And the next thing Barbara and Adam know, they are ghosts haunting their own home. When new owners move in, the Maitlands are desperate to drive them out. In search of assistance, Adam and Barbara find their way into the netherworld, only to discover that the afterlife is operated like one big bureaucracy. They find themselves in a supernatural DMV-like waiting room, surrounded by colorful character corpses, all of whom have visual representations of the way they died. A snippy receptionist sits behind the desk. Is this what happens when you die? This is what happens when you die. That is what happens when he dies. And that is what happens when she dies. It all depends on someone's circumstance. It's safe to say we'd all agree. We'd write the ending differently. If only we could get a second chance. <laughs>
Despite being determined to remove the new family from their home, Barbara and Adam forge an unlikely connection with the family's teenage daughter, Lydia, who dresses in black and lives a goth lifestyle. Lydia feels detached from the world alienate, and alienated by her father and stepmother, from whom she doesn't get the attention and affection she quietly craves. Instead, she resorts to the solitary art of photography. You really like taking pictures.